Hello everyone, welcome back. Kara is, I don't know, she's just watching the fish, I think. I'm gonna have her feed them. Alice was cleaning it. Eric just made some delicious French toast and they are perfect quality, which is crazy. Um, let's see if Paul is okay. No, that's Eric. Okay, Paul, he needs a little bit of scrumptious uh, tomatoes. <laughs> Why not just eat a tomato? Sebastian just went to school. I'm having him meet new friends and I have to keep an eye on his hydration or he will like get dehydrated. De hydrated right after school and pass out and he'll be stuck there because nobody can like get there quick enough so I just have to keep an eye on him it's so bad uh, Kara goes to work in an hour she hasn't started showing yet but I'm pretty sure she will today let me fix the volume I don't know if it's like too loud uh, let's see Alice you are doing well doing well I'm gonna have her just top off her hydration and hunger and let's see, I'm going to age up baby Ruby today, so she's officially going to be a child. I'm going to sell all these like random books that they keep putting in their inventory. It drives me nuts. And Kara, I also gave her the um, pregnancy books so she could read them once she becomes pregnant. But anyway, uh, I want to see what Ruby looks like as a child. That was so awkward. That was so weird. I don't know, but I don't know if you saw that because the crib was kind of in the way, but Ruby was like going out of Kara's, I don't know, it's just so strange. <laughs> Eric, when do you go to work? He goes to work in six hours, that's not too bad. I'm going to see if he could chat with his boss on the phone so we could get our relationship up a little bit. And uh, Paul, he doesn't have a job, thank goodness. I like that he's unemployed and he can stay home with Alice. Triton King, his game record is terrible, but a lot of you tell me you have the same problem with the game records. Even if you do prepare for a game and get their athletic skill up, it just doesn't want to work. <laughs> uh, Triton, get your booty up out of bed and Kara can go to work right now. He needs to eat and also go take a shower. He's going to have to, you know what, let's go have him go in the jacuzzi instead. Instead of using the all-in-one bathroom. Okay, eat your yummy kelp. Nice, and then he will go in the jacuzzi and relax until his hydration's up. And then Kara, where is your lifeguard duty at? It is, uh, oh, all the way over here. Holy moly. I'm going to have her survey a few times so we don't miss anything. And I'm going to also keep an eye on Kara as well as Sebastian, you know. Oh my goodness. He's just in a terrible mood. No, don't use all-in-one bathroom. This should work perfectly fine. I promise, Triton King. Look, see? Perfect. Great. Now he won't pass out and get dehydrated. Although, if they were to get dehydrated, I would feel safer when they're home because there's always somebody here at all moments of the day. Uh, at least one person. Okay, see his hydration's going down a little bit. I just have to make sure it's all the way up by the time he has to go to school. And his hunger, uh, I don't know about his hunger. I don't know how bad that's going to be. You can go to the bathroom. And Alice, are you just like cleaning the house? Because that's so sweet of you. Maybe there are some seashells here. I heard you could find the bottle also at this island. So let's see. Nope. I only found this one. Lovely. Let's go collect it though anyway. So you can find the extraordinarily unusual, I think, the one for Plum Bob Island. You can find it at Mermaid Grotto. I mean, not Mermaid Grotto, at Mermaid Secret Island, maybe. And then uh, the place where I know you can for sure find it is at Pearl's Deep. So I just have to keep an eye out at Pearl's Deep. And I don't know, there's hardly ever any seashells there anymore though. Probably because I like get all of them. Yeah, there's none there right now. Oh, I keep getting them. Triton King. Uh, let's put this boat back, please. And thank you. Yes, here. No, where did it go? Uh, and Carrie, you have the boat as well. And I'm going to go where she is so I can watch her. Oh, no, I couldn't put it. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see where Kara's going. Have you guys seen the pictures and like teaser trailer of what is it called moonlight hollow the new world by the sims 3 oh it's salty salty hey oh my gosh when you're done can we please talk to you um alice can you see if you can invite salty over actually i had a plan to um invite him over in the morning so that by the end of the day he would get over there but i completely forgot about it until now <laughs> go figure i have a terrible memory so hopefully he'll be like yeah i'll come over and then he'll start swimming over there or maybe he's going home let's see where's his home located uh oh my gosh it's not even over there i don't think he's going home because he'd be swimming this way i think he just left home 
I am so confused. Well, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> go to France. No, thank you. We can't go to France. Although I am starting a new Let's Play where I'm going to play with all of the expansions and stuff in a some kind of town. I have a video on it. Uh, ooh, who are you? Alton, Spain. And how about you? Mercutio Hutton. Okay, Mercutio, are you going to go in the water and, and need some saving? Sebastian, I mean Salty, is just over there. Have I been calling him Sebastian? <laughs> I get their names mixed up so bad. I'm going to put it on speed four and see if Kara can get her pregnant belly and also if she can save some people because it's driving me nuts. Yay! Okay, cool. This is going to be our 27th person that we've saved. Uh, go, Kara. Come on. Save him, please. And hopefully this woman will need saving out in Spain. Oh my gosh, this guy too. Jeez. All these bakers. Crazy bakers. All right, Sebastian, um, why don't you invite, mm, I don't want to invite him over. I'm just going to have him go home. See, he's already feeling chapped. Oh my gosh, it's just so bad. It's so bad for the mermaids when they do anything. Okay, Kara, you going? Go, go save this guy. Come on, stop. I don't even, no, don't, don't give him, oh, don't, no, no I, I meant to keep, oh, jeez, I'm getting so lost. Mateo has a party. Well, tough luck, pal. We're going to have our own little shindig for Ruby. Okay, Kara's doing her thing there. Um, Eric is at work, so once he gets back from work, we will have him throw, well, we'll get a cake and then we'll celebrate Ruby's birthday and she'll be a child. And let's see, Triton, I think he, yep, he's going to work too. Let's have him just hang out with team members. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Alice, she found a shell. Finally, go back home. Don't need to be there. And Kara, oh my gosh, is he? Oh, <sighs> I, I thought he didn't make it. Even though he faked it, his eyes were like wide open and it didn't look like he was breathing. Did you feel that connection when our mouths touched? Yes, it was the connection of our mouths touching, but nothing like, you know, romantic, you silly Billy. I have a boyfriend or fiance. Kara, are you going to get a belly anytime soon? I would love it. I think it would be the cutest thing. And then she'll have her first child, and it's going to be so exciting. Oh my gosh, Lily. Jeez Louise. Sim from Current Household Video. Current Household Video will be up sometime next week, most likely on Wednesday. And I'm super excited because I really like these Sims that I'm playing with. And, uh, Kara, come on. Why is it taking you so long to change into your maternity? <gasps> Yay, it happened. It happened. <laughs> Just as I start complaining, getting aggravated, kind of. Learn, no, no. Uh, I just want to see what Kara looks like. Oh, she has time to do a little shimmy before she changes. <gasps> oh, Kara gets the next four work days off as maternity leave. You can read a book, and then I will have you eat this grape, and you will go home. Sebastian, he's swimming home. It's a terrible idea you dork because you're freaking hungry and oh no I don't want to go that way okay I gotta see our house it's over here let us go boat here go into a boat yes and then once you're in the boat I will have you go home and then I will have you eat some lovely kelp and who is this oh did it say that she was coming home with us I wasn't paying attention Ashley Alto hey she must really like him I think so. They probably like each other, and that's cute. Let's eat that, and let's do our homework with Ashley. Are you here? Cool. Do homework with Ashley Alto. And then Alice. Good, she's home too. Uh, now we just gotta wait until Eric comes home, and also Kara will come home right after she finishes reading her book. And I don't know how long that's going to take. I'm pretty sure it's probably like a good thick book. All of those baby books are. Uh, are you done? Almost? Kind of? I can't even tell because it doesn't show the little bar above her head because she's already read this book before. Alice, what are you doing? You're hungry. Let's have... No, don't eat out of the fridge, you silly. Let's eat some delicious kelp and then we'll have another piece of kelp. And Eric, he's almost off work. Good, good. I'm going to go home, buy them a cake. I'm going to have Kara stop reading because she's taking forever. Uh, entertainment, parties, and cake. Cake, cake, cake. Okay, go. <laughs> I love that that video if you know what I'm talking about it's like one with Jenna Marbles and and Grace Helbig kind of it, she's like more in the background and then Hannah Hart I love Hannah Hart so much Paul you have wait why does Eric have onions 
I don't know. Should he? Should I have him eat one? Okay, he's gonna come home. Hurry it up, and then I want to celebrate Ruby's birthday. Ruby better not be sleeping. Look, she's walking. Well, Ruby, let's get a good look at you before I age you up into a a child. Oh my gosh, she's like, look at those scales. Look at those toenails. I don't know what she's looking at, but it looks funny. Oh, she's just so cute. Hi. Hi, Ruby. Oh, come on, Alice. I was looking at her. Oh, she's hungry. Okay, well, let's have her eat first, and then... Or, if she was hungry and we age her up into a child, she would actually get some cake. So, either way, um... But let's see what Sebastian is doing. Is his, is his girlfriend still here? She's still working on her homework, the poor thing. Let's go ask her what her sign is, and then ask her if she's single. She's probably not even that friendly with us, and <laughs> it's gonna be super awkward. But, it'll be fine. Okay, go. Ask her her sign. Oh, come on! You're in the way! Ashley, eat your kelp. And go over here, because we're now stuck. Okay, now we can ask sign. <laughs> and then we'll ask her if she's single. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. He's like waiting for her to get over here. And Eric, are you home? Maybe? Is he home? I can't, I don't even know where he is. Yes, he's home. Cool, okay, now we're going to blow out candles. Ruby! Yay! When she ages up, I will um, do the screenshot thing like I did for Sebastian. It just takes me like a really long time to decide what they want to wear and I don't have enough memory on my hard drive to record all of that. So it's like a, I don't know, it's so weird for me. Ruby Quill is having a birthday party. Come one, come all. I have a feeling Eric, yeah. That's so cute that their parents always get them to blow out their, oh my gosh. Who, Paul, that's disgusting. Let's throw that out. We don't want that in our house, that's nasty. Alice, is she, oh my gosh, I thought Alice was like, Alice, go over here. Get out of the way. Okay, now we're going to blow out the candles. Sebastian, is uh, she liking it? Oh, it seems like she is. Romantic. Compliment appearance. And then stop because we got to celebrate. Or you could stop now. Look at Eric's crazy outfit. I didn't even look at this. Look, it has like a, a little logo with a tomato and a nice medal because he's like the world's best chef in, in The Sims 3 ever. <laughs> at least in Iso Paradiso. In here, in this one. How rude. Ashley doesn't even want to celebrate. She just wants to do her homework. <laughs> no, that's good. Uh, okay. Cool. I like how they add more candles per age group. Wait, 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 wait. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to where she is. Uh, maybe. Usually when I try to do this, they end up being in the complete opposite direction and I should probably be more over here. But knowing me and my luck, she's probably going to age up and I'm going to, it's going to be the way I was facing. Anyway, let's just see what she looks like when she ages up. And she's going to be all cross-eyed too. Ah, what's this? Perform a symphony? Sure. Oh, my bad. I forgot that I was in tab mode. Is she going to? Oh, she was facing that way! With crawling and curves behind her, Ruby has finally gotten on her own two feet and become a child. Ruby has lots of schoolwork and homework ahead of her. School and homework ahead of her. Um, but if she studies hard, okay. Due to your excellent parenting skills, you may now choose a trait for Ruby to develop. So she is athletic, good, and I don't remember if I wanted her to be something or not, but I kind of want to have her be a genius and we'll play with like that, all that hacking stuff. Oh my goodness, I am like all over the place with this, aren't I? Okay, don't, don't look cross-eyed. I just want to see your face. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, Ruby. Ruby, you're adorable. I'm all up close and personal. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Where is she? Where are you going? Okay, well, she can now share this room with Sebastian. This will be Ruby's bed. That's why I have two beds in here. And she can now go to sleep. And then I will keep all of this um, bed, this stuff for later for Kara when she, you know, has her child. I cannot believe she... Oh, I guess she did finish reading the book. Okay, well, that's fine. I forgot about her. <laughs> that's so sad, but it's true. Nobody wants to eat any cake. What the heck? Nobody ate any cake. That's the weirdest thing. Uh, are you gonna have some cake? Okay, you're gonna have some cake. Good. 
Well, I will keep all this for Kara. Like I said, I really like the colors too, and I think it would go well with Kara's room. Although I'm not sure if everything will fit, maybe. I'll have to move it around and stuff. Sebastian, can you go flirt with your, your little friend? Where is she? Okay, maybe we could dance with her. Dance together. Let's do the, the slow dance, because he wants to get all romantic. Seriously, she has not finished her homework. What the heck? What? Why? Oh no, is our, 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 I was gonna say fridge. Is our TV broken? Kara, snap snap, let's go over here, repair it, since you can't die, I don't think, because she's pregnant, so. Perfect! And Sebastian, does she, does she like? We have to use all-in-one bathroom for whatever reason. Oh look. Young love. Ah, hi. She's looking at him adoringly, and he's like, What's up? What's up, baby? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, the next video, we should be able to see what Kara's stomach looks like. She'll be a little bit bigger. We'll have her um, have some fun with that. I don't even know what we could do with her while she's pregnant. We'll have um, maybe Alice or someone rub her belly. I'm not sure if Mateo would come do that. Oh, she stepped on his foot. But I will invite Mateo over, and Kara has gotten level 10 handiness! That means she will probably, like, never get electrocuted. But that does mean we get discounts uh, whenever we buy furniture for our home, so that's good. Now let's see if her belly is, like, any bigger. No, not really. But it's it's getting there! Oh, I cannot wait to see what Kara and Mateo's child looks like. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will change Ruby's clothes and show you in the next one. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, everyone.